The relationship started at the time of the Reichstag, and the challenge was how did you scale easy seating for a large public space? Decades later, we see the possibility of a modular system. There's really a long process sketching, creating models, full-size prototypes, and eventually the end result catalogue of elements that can take a straight section and terminate. Or these individual elements can come together to make a semicircle, a tight circle, a lazy circle. But then it gets really interesting when you start to combine these and you can get snake-like forms that continue in space. So something which works as an individual piece of furniture can come together and create very, very large groups. Informal, formal, different finishes, colors, textiles, leathers, infinite possibilities. The tables that complement the system, they kind of dock alongside the seating, but they're contoured in such a way that they can kiss each other and they don't raise the other, they're, they're sympathetic to each other. I think the outcome of this as a system is that it is adaptable, you could imagine it in a gallery of modern art, you could imagine it in the reception area of a corporate headquarters, uh, or in the intimate space of a home.